Hello, welcome to our semiconductor education program. I'm Vincent Chan. Uh, this is going to be an ex exciting uh, lecture video. As I mentioned before in the previous, in the other lecture video, the differential amplifier is the one of the most, probably the most important amplifier circuit in the analog integrated circuit. It just reminds me when I was first taught, when I first taught uh, my students when I was very young about the differential amplifier, how young I, I was then, 20 years, 20, 22 years old. I'm not kidding. <laughs> when, I was, uh, when, I, when I first taught electronics, I was 22 years old. I talked to uh, the same age, the student was the same age, senior, and also the, 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 the college junior. But at that time, my teaching skill, great. No, my teaching skill at that time, stunk. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is this. For such an important circuit in the analog integral circuit, if you give me 15 minutes, you will overcome the differential amplifier and not be intimidated anymore by this and anymore. So you got, got to learn a skill, the key skill, how to solve the differential amplifier. Here we go. Let me pull out the video. The differential pair, the differential pair circuit. We learned this before, the large signal analysis. So where the differential amplifier operates on the transfer characteristic. Small signal operation, number one, is centered, it based on the common mode. The operation point, operating point located on the common mode. Here, the DC, and then upon the DC, on the DC, you superimpose an AC like this, right? So, because you can't do this, you can only do this. Because you do this, if you do this, it's going to be distorted. So only this, the distortion can be tolerated. Linear region, approximately linear region with the small range. So two key points. Number one, the DC, common mode. Number two, small signal within a very small range for the linear operation. I'm going to teach you two ways. The first way, the simple way, go first. <laughs> Always the simple way, go first. All right, and supported by the compli complicated, more complicated uh, equivalent circuit. Analysis by inspection, all right? Here's the key, the skill. This is, this is extremely important. This is the key lesson you're going to learn, all right? So here. And then goes like this, like this. So the first key, resistance, the total resistance, because the, it's the emitter perspective. It's the emitter perspective, not the base pers perspective. You put your eye, you put your eye into the emitter and look here, RE. Look at here, RE. So two RE. And then, then two RE means what? Means the total resistance in the emitter line. And then across voltage, VD. So voltage divided by resistance equals current, Ohm's law. Ohm's law. And then what? Then what? Then what? Then you take out your watch, okay? Like this. What's this? What, what is this? Apple watch? No. Counterclockwise, counterclockwise. You go nine o'clock to three o'clock, 12 to nine and three to 12. And then go around the counterclockwise, counterclockwise. You might be wondering, teacher, why not clockwise? Okay, Apple Watch is clockwise. Right? This is clockwise. Yes, you can do that. But 
you need to put out a minus sign. You make things more complicated. What does it mean by the negative sign, the minus sign? Out of phase. Because this direction, the counterclockwise is in phase with the external AC signal. If you go like this, yes, you can. But remember, put out a negative sign. What does the negative sign represent? Out of phase. So counterclockwise is in phase with the external AC. Clockwise will be out of phase. Then you got the AC upper voltage on the left foot and also AC upper voltage on the right foot. The negative means the inverting output VC1 and positive means the non-inverting output. You got, once you got the emitter current, then you can have the base current divided by one plus beta. All right, this is, has been done analysis by inspection. Now let's move on to the, another method to support this. Maybe you leave a not you already left a lot of question mark. Teach you why this, Vincent, why, why this? Why not, what, what? Why, why, why this? Why not this? And, and also, you, the biggest question in your mind is, is that simple? Is, that, is this that simple? If you have this question, the only way to convince you is to support by the equipment circuit. But I, recommend, I strongly recommend you don't use hybrid pipe model, okay? Replace the transistor by the T equivalent model. Replace the transistor by T equivalent model. Now I give you a little bit more time, okay? 10 minutes. Let's pause for 10 minutes. Just replace the transistor by the T equivalent model. Just put this small signal equivalent circuit for the dis differential amplifier on your note first. And we come back in 10 minutes. I hope you got it right. Here's the T equivalent emitter base collector, i.e., the, re the resistance between emitter and the base looking into emitter. If the resistance between emitter and the base looking into base, then the RE has to be multiplied by what? By 1 plus beta. And then collector current, current control, current source. The control current is this, IE. So alpha IE, collector, right? Emitter base collector. So then you rotate this by 90 degree, and then, then you put on Q1 spot, right? No problem, right? You just duplicate, you just copy, paste, copy, and paste. But what about the other side? What about the other side? You can say, I, I do the same, right? But I have to name this is IE2. IE2 equals negative IE on the left-hand side. And negative means what? Remember, remember I, 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 I did this before? This means out of phase. This is exactly what the negative sign means, represent. So why not do this? Why not do this? Then you can use only one variable like this. You can use only one variable, which means the current is actually the same magnitude, but also the same phase. The same magnitude, but also the same phase. If you go like this, Counterclockwise, counterclockwise. This is exactly what we did before. Analysis by inspection. So the two way of analysis reconcile each other. Reconcile each other. So see the IE, see the model. So what is IE? The resistance, total resistance to IE. 
what's the voltage across the two base terminal? Vd. So Vd divided by 2Re equals the IE, right? This. Okay, this is the AC emitter curve. Here's the takeaway. Three steps, very simple. Put down this on your note, three simple. <laughs> These three st steps is gonna help you overcome the fear when you face the differential amplifier next time. The first step, total resistance looking into emitter. So total emitter resistance. This is the first step, 2RE, right? Remember, emitter perspective. Total emitter resistance. The key word is emitter. The second, just take what you learned from middle school. <laughs> Almost law. Voltage, what voltage? Of course, it's differential input voltage. Divided by the total emitter resistance equals the current. Second step, Ohm's law. And third step, take out your watch. <laughs> Counterclockwise, all right? And it's done. I hope you already overcome, never got intimidated by this kind of amplified differential, super important circuit anymore. I hope you enjoy today's lecture video. Thanks for watching.